Hello, Steve Samuel here, and today I would like to continue uh, the animation series. And uh, previously we had the animation and we showed how to create this follower, this uh, pin, that would follow this nice little groove. So that looks like this. We put a motor on the uh, cam part. And of course, the little pin goes back and forth and follows that groove. We can see it a little better if we hide the if we hide the uh, holder here. Let's just hide that. Control B. B. There we go. And start the video again. And as you can see, there's a nice little pin that just goes up and down in that groove. Okay? So what we want to do is be able to turn this crank and have this turn because the crank is turning. So we have to establish a coupler. And the way to establish a coupler is to relate two revolutes together and give them a ratio. So if we go to the chain belt, chain belt, you can see that the chain belt is requiring selection one and selection two. Selection one will be this revolute right here. Selection two will be that revolute right there there. And then the uh, ratio uh, joint 1 to joint 2. Uh, joint 1 is um, 16 millimeters in diameter. 16. And then joint 2 is 46. And let's see, joint 1 over joint 2. Um, I think it might be 46 over 16, but we'll see. Let's try that. 46 divided by 16 and say OK. All right, so let's see if it worked. We say play and OK, it, it worked. So now, as you can see, the crank is turning more slowly than the, than the cam. Uh, and it is dictated by the ratio of diameters of these two items. Uh, of course, now um, the cam is driving the uh, the crank uh, because that's where we put the motor. So let's stop that, and we can go into the animation navigator, and where it says motors, we can uh, we can probably just edit it and put it on. Or I'm just going to delete it though. Um, that seems easier to me, and I'm going to put on another speed motor. And the speed motor is going to go on this revolute joint right here. And the speed is going to be um, 180 uh, degrees per second. And say OK. So the speed, the speed motor shows up here. And we can bring back the holder. And let's see if it's working the way it's supposed to. Hit play. And yes, the crank is turning slower, more slowly than the cam. And like I said, the ratio is uh, 46 to 16. They're turning in the correct directions, and everything is good. So that is how to set up a chain belt. Uh, on a system that you've created already and uh, that gives you incredible power with NX Animation Tool. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and you can see many, many other videos of this nature on the Design Visionaries YouTube channel. Thank you and happy modeling.